Hey guys, it's Vaki here with another video on how to install Ficade. So, if you don't know about Ficade already, it's this uh, online platform which allows you to play old fighting games online for free. And recently they came out with Ficade 2, the official release version of it, which has much better netcode support and better UI. And generally you can just you can see here that you can just have all these different games that you can select from and play. Street Fighter Third Strike, some KOF, some Super Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter Alpha, even Vampire Saviors, and a huge list of games. So if you want to play these games online with people with pretty good netcode, so Fightcade is the way to go. So first of all, what you want to do is go to the, their website, fightcade.com, and you can download the client and it's real simple and you just I think you just unzip it or install it into a directory once you have it installed you're gonna have a directory kind of like this it's gonna look like this and you just click on it and you're ready to go but there's one more step that I'm gonna help you out with which is to how to set, set up your games because the emulator in Ficade it just has the emulators so it doesn't actually have the ROMs so what you want to do is I'm gonna leave a link below to this file JSON files, that's it. When you look inside, there's a bunch of JSON files here. So what you want to do is download the files. And then what you want to do is go to your fight Kate directory, go to emulator, and in here, unzip all your files. And you see how I already have them unzipped, so all the JSON files are here. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And when you're done, you just click on fight Kate 2 and you have to create an account too. And that's really simple. So it's going to bring you up something like this. You hit add games and it's going to give you a list of games and you can just join the rooms, join the lobbies. So if, unless you're a Patreon member, you'll only be allowed to join three games at a time, three lobbies at a time, but the three should be more than enough. But if you want to support these guys, and I really suggest that you do, they're doing great work and you have the means, um, go to their Patreon and, you know, help support these guys that are making this happen. So what you want to do after you're in one of these lobbies, let's say I'm in Super Turbo, Turbo right here, you'll want to go to Test Game. And if everything's working, you'll see the download script download the ROMs into the directories it needs to go. And it should load up the game. When you're in here, here's some settings you might want to set. So first of all, Stretch. You'll want it to set it to correct aspect ratio. And I see a, some people having it all stretchy like this, stretched out, yeah, that's not what you want. You don't want it to look all stretched out. It's, it looks terrible. So please, have it have it just be correct aspect ratio. And you can run it at full screen. So toggle full screen mode, and that'll make it full screen. It actually runs slightly even better at full screen. It's just a word of advice. And you can enable VSync and disable auto frame skip if you want. I hear that makes it better. And also, I suggest with Run Ahead to disable it. Um, I've heard people having issues when they try to set it to one or two, so I just I have it disabled, and it seems okay. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and for the input, make sure you're mapping your input to your games. You just click on the button, go to your joystick, hit the button. When you're all done, click OK. And then you're ready to go. You can just hit the coin button. Test it out, test out your buttons. Let's see if this works. All my buttons should already be ready. Let's just test out your buttons. Everything's good. And then close it. And that should save all your configurations. You only have to do it once. But you have to do it once per game. So let's say Alpha 2, Alpha 3, you have to set it again for this. Go to inputs, map input, and then you're done. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and another final thing to note that it does call out if you use Wi-Fi, and I highly suggest that you do wire have a wired connection instead of Wi-Fi, because it's better for everybody not to have Wi-Fi like this guy here. But maybe, I understand some people can't help it. You know, their setup just does not allow them not to have Wi-Fi. But if you can, please have a wired connection. It just makes it so much better. You can also see their ping here. This guy actually is probably right next to me. He's five milliseconds, so so all the bars are pretty good. And even at well, like 150, it runs okay. Like this guy is probably playable. So just test it out for yourself. 
and have fun. And you can see there's plenty of people online playing these games. And yeah, if, any, if you have any questions, just uh, drop a comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Hi, thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, or drop a comment below if you have any questions. You can follow me at Twitch at twitch.com slash Come hang out and watch me demonstrate Muscle Power Live.